Welcome to Prayer to the Dice Gods, I'm Alan and today we're going to be trying to figure out a new paint scheme for our Necron Force. As I'm sure you know, I've spent a lot of time painting shiny purple Necrons and I really, really don't want to do any more. So I want to move away from that and I want to do something that's not just silver, it's not just something over silver. Let's see where we can go with it. The first paint that we're going to put down is in actual fact silver, but we're only going for those bits that are under the armour, so nothing on top, just things like the spinal cord, uh, the bits of arms that are showing, and, you know, his legs, that type of thing. Next, we're working with some lovely cream colour. I think this will be really nice on the armour. I thoroughly enjoy painting cream models, and I know a lot of other painters do, um, but can be a little bit of a pain in the arse, to be perfectly honest but I absolutely love it and I think it's going to work really well on this model. Because I want to get a bit of definition going quite early on so that we get a nice good feel for how these other colours are going to work with that silver, we're going to crack out the Nolan oil, we're going to go over all of those silver parts and then let it dry, see how it looks. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get out my favouritest, oh yes, my favouritest wash and that is Seraphim Sepia. absolutely love this stuff. It's great for going over cream, it's great for panel lining white, it's also really good for gold. And what more can I say? We're going to put this over all of the cream parts so that we can start then highlighting that up. Once those washes are dry, we're going to start laying down our red. Now we're going to use this on the shoulder pads as well as the weapon and the blades because I think it should all look fairly similar-ish. Yeah, I know I'm using a lot of made up words today, but I think they're necessary when you're coming up with new paint schemes. Let's get cracking with highlighting that cream. We're going to start off with the base colour. We're going to mix that with a lighter cream and eventually we'll mix that with some white. We're not going to take the initial highlights all the way to white, but we are looking to do volumetric highlighting here, not just some edge highlighting. So it's got a little bit of a shine. Once that's all done, yeah, we're going to crack out that white paint and we're going to do the edge highlights. We're going to go under the underside of all of the dents and scratches. Now we've finished with the highlights on the cream, we're going to head over to do some on the red. Now the idea here is that we're going to take this towards yellow. So we're going to have an orange that we mix with the red and then a yellow that we mix with the orange. We're not going to take that all the way to yellow because we want to use yellow as the final edge highlight, which is really going to make these weapons pop and those blades. We're gonna do the highlighting slightly differently on the actual gun tube, so we're actually gonna just highlight along the top. The idea is that it's getting more light, so it's gonna change color, whereas the underside's gonna be darker. Now, I'll be honest, I am absolutely in love with the way this model has turned out. I really like it, um, but of course, you can't just have the one test model. We're gonna try out some more color schemes, so next week's video is gonna be another Necron in a different color, We'll see how that one turns out and then we will see which one we want to go with or whether or not we want to start over. If you've liked today's video, make sure you make like our Space Marine here and destroy that like button. If you haven't already, why don't you make like an orc and smash the subscribe button.